day now. Hurricane season 2013 has begun and there's important information you need to know. Miami-Dade County has updated its storm surge planning and evacuation zones, expanding them from three to five. That means more residents now live in evacuation zones. The new evacuation maps were developed using the latest data and technology. Officials say you should find out if you live in one of the zones and have a plan in place in case you need to evacuate. We want people to be informed. We tell people all year, get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Well, part of being informed is knowing what hazards you're vulnerable to. So this, I think, will ho hopefully help open people's eyes to the vulnerability that they have to storm surge. To find out which storm surge planning zone you live in, visit miamidade.gov slash hurricane or call 311. You'll also find all the information you need to be prepared this hurricane season. A major milestone for Port Miami. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has awarded the Deep Dredge Project contract to Great Lakes Dredge and Dock Corporation. The company will deepen Port Miami shipping channels from the current 44 feet to a depth of 50 to 52 feet. This will make them deep enough to accommodate the newer, super-large cargo ships that will arrive via the expanded Panama Canal when it opens in 2015. Officials say the dredge will enable the port to increase its cargo traffic and attract new business. Dredging is expected to begin in August. It's the first time that the county commission comes out of the building to come closer to the residents of this county. Thank History you, is Chair. made in Miami-Dade as the Board of County this, Commissioners and holds and its first off-site meeting at the South Miami-Dade Cultural Arts Center in Cutler Bay. It's all part of Commission Chairwoman Rebecca Sosa's effort to bring government closer to residents. Meetings are usually held in the Commission Chambers at the Stephen P. Clark Center in downtown Miami. The message is clear, no more violence. The Miami-Dade Police Department and the Youth Crime Watch of Miami-Dade hosting a neighborhood crime prevention rally in Miami to mark Stop the Violence Blue Ribbon Week. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez and Commissioners Jean Monestime and Audrey Edmondson also participated in the event, which included information about crime prevention and activities for kids. It's in accordance with the Mayor's Roundtable on Youth Safety Initiative, which aims to safeguard our community's youth. And hundreds of Miami-Dade public school students participated in the sixth annual Miami-Dade County Teen Court Youth Speaking Out Against Violence Conference, Inspiring Peaceful Change. Commissioner Audrey Edmondson was among the speakers at the event in downtown Miami, sponsored by the Miami-Dade Economic Advocacy Trust. Students also attended workshops on topics like bullying and violence in schools and learned how to make changes in peaceful ways. Sometimes what seems like a simple gesture can make a big impact. Commissioner Jose Pepe Diaz teaming up with Bluebell Ice Cream to show appreciation to our first responders. More than 300 firefighters and fire personnel enjoyed free ice cream served up by Diaz and Bluebell at the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Headquarters in Doral in honor of International Firefighters Day. A few days later, it was time to honor our police during National Police Appreciation Week. Diaz and Bluebell served ice cream to police officers and police personnel at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters in Doral. <laughs> Commissioner Barbara Jordan and her District 1 team enthusiastically partnering with the American Cancer Society for the Relay for Life in Miami Gardens. The event includes relay teams that camp out overnight and take turns walking or running around a local track or path to raise money and awareness to save lives from cancer. We have to do everything we can to bring awareness to what's happening with cancer, how, how we can best treat cancer, the new techniques that are used so that we can extend life longer and hopefully find the kind of cure that's needed so that families will not have to suffer and individuals will not have to go through the pain and suffering that they've been going through. For more information and to find out about upcoming events, visit RelayForLife.org. The Medieval Time Show, just one of the many attractions at the 6th Annual Miami International Agriculture Horse and Cattle Show. Tens of thousands of people attended the free three-day event at Tropical Park in southwest Miami-Dade. 
which featured cattle auctions, equestrian shows, and fun for the whole family. Commissioner Javier Soto created the event as a way to promote Miami-Dade's agriculture industry throughout the world, and it has helped make Miami-Dade more competitive in agribusiness. And Soto was honored for his work with a proclamation presented to him by Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez, Commission Chairwoman Rebecca Sosa, and his colleagues during the cattle show's opening day reception. Ready, one, two, three. Commissioner Jose Pepe Diaz joins Miami-Dade Parks to dedicate the new skate park and basketball courts at North Trail Park in Northwest Miami-Dade. The skate park includes a concrete skate court plaza equipped with skateboarding fixtures and covered bleachers, and the basketball courts were relocated to make room for new parking spaces at the busy park. This is thanks to the money that the, the taxpayers of Dade County have given. We took a field inside a very condensed residential area and today we have this beautiful park, and I'm very proud of it. The dedication ceremony coincided with Diaz's annual District 12 Spring Festival. The fun family event included free food, entertainment, bounce houses, and of course, the very popular Easter egg hunt. You do spring cleaning at home, so why not along our shoreline? Thousands of volunteers participated in the 31st annual Bonanza Biscayne Bay Cleanup Day, picking up trash at 23 sites throughout Miami-Dade, including Hallover Beach Park in Miami Beach. There was free entertainment, including an appearance by the Trash Monster, and Commissioner Sally Heyman presented the awards to the winners of the Bonanza T-shirt design contest. Bonanza is the largest volunteer shoreline cleanup in South Florida. Hundreds of people turned out to enjoy the cuisine of Haiti during the inaugural Taste of Haiti event at the Museum of Contemporary Art in North Miami. The event was a temptation for the taste buds, featuring some of Miami-Dade's finest chefs and restaurants specializing in traditional Haitian cuisine. The presence of so many people here does tell you that this is a total success. So we endeavor to continue to do this on a yearly basis and continue to promote Haitian American culture and the diversity of Miami-Dade County. Commissioner Jean Monestim co-sponsored the event as part of the celebration of Haitian Heritage Cultural Month in May. And finally, here's a story about the celebration of storytelling. There were smiles and fun galore during the Miami-Dade Public Library System's 13th Annual International Art of Storytelling Family Festival at the main library in downtown Miami. The free event included entertainment, activities, Lego mania, a teen zone, and of course, renowned storytellers. The program was created to highlight the role that storytelling plays in education, culture, and entertainment. This year's international exchange partner, the Public Libraries of Madrid. And that's all for this edition of Miami-Dade Now. I'm Leila Khalil reporting. Thanks for watching.